I've been using Guitar Rig 5 for about four years, and though I have some MIDI devices, controllers, I still find myself changing the parameters mostly in the VST and post. So I wanted to go ahead and change some things up with my MIDI controller, but I couldn't find a quick and easy video. So I just wanted to make this really quick. So I have this nice blank project here. Uh, I have an audio track. I'll just pull Guitar Rig 5 onto it. And you can see here, I just have my presets, some of the presets that I've made, just in kind of a, a tag area, a preset uh, area. And you can just go to options up here. And in this area, um, you can assign the MIDI learn. So you hit the bottom left, the add controller, and there's a learn button. And then to the right, there's a menu drop down. And the menu drop down will allow you to select different parameters. We're gonna do next preset. And these are the presets it's gonna um, toggle through. So you go ahead and you hit the learn button and you can smash on the keyboard. Uh, your MIDI keyboard, nothing, nothing happens. 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 So you wanna move over here, right click and add a MIDI track. Now the reason why is that the guitar rig track is an audio track and can't receive MIDI data but you can send MIDI data from a MIDI track. So over here, you change it to no output, from no output to guitar. You can see guitar rigs enabled underneath there, meaning it's sending there. And that's record enabled, both those tracks now. And now you can see there's a key. I did this wrong, but I correct it. Um, so this is all good to go, and you hit the button once, and it unbinds itself for some reason. So you have to go back there, and you have to make sure you lock it using the, the menu button, the menu drop down. But I like relearned the key on this, and then I put the, I did the jump to command by accident, um, and I locked it, and it wasn't right. So you can use the jump to command to go to an exact other preset, which is pretty neat. But I unlocked it, and I set it to the next and then I locked it again and I scrolled through it to test it. But the other cool thing is you can right click, you hit save settings, and you won't have to mess with this again once you lock in your settings, so far as I can tell. And there it goes, it worked.